love you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to try to get this voiced over too to help out the process of what I did. Um, but this is the same color shifting powder I used for the polish with the video I just did how to make polish with the pigment powder. So I wanted to see if we could also use it saving our coins to cross over to make magnetic poly gel. And then of course this um, magnetic is like the color shift also. I try to get good pictures but it's really hard to get like when it changes to purple because the LED lights it's so bright I guess. But um so I used three different colors to see if it made a difference with the clear or with the green because it's almost like black and a lot of the times this stuff needs a black background to kind of reflect better. So I tried it with the different colors and I um, kind of labeled it through the video. You see nothing happens when I first mix them and I'm assuming because the poly gel is thick and the magnetic like can't come to the surface. So I add top coat and I know it's edited and stuff but I left in every time I added top coat and stuff so you could get what it was like but you'll see stay until the very end because you'll see the easiest way I figured out how to get it done. Um, Alright, I hope you guys enjoy the video. You'll see again, it doesn't, after this first top coat, it still doesn't work. it again which I don't think I probably needed to because you'll see at the end where I sandwich it in between top and base coat and it works a lot better but stay tuned you'll see I'm just I got some more results but I think if I wouldn't have mixed it and I just would have tried the magnet it probably would have worked um, better like we do on the second now everything in this world will be okay Can we be together all the way? I know you feel this movement right here. You just be vibing, reaching, reaching for something within you. I know you feel this movement right here. You just be vibing, reaching, reaching for something. This time I put the top coat on and I don't mix it together with the gel and I notice it works a lot better. So we move on and we try it with a new nail. Don't forget when you're working with your poly gels, mixing stuff, trying to save a coin, that when you add polish and stuff like that, not so much pigments, but polishes and stuff are gonna um, compromise the structure of the nail and the durability of the poly gel and stuff like that so don't forget that so just be careful when you're adding stuff that's why I took it off the plate and was adding it on the nail instead of adding it to all the poly gels at once adding it to a small portion of the poly gel and testing it all right. So here's the last one I did and it didn't take a lot of different mixing and stuff to do it. I just added a base or a top. I use a top but I'm sure you could use base also. I didn't cure it. 
Um, I think that might be helping it. So I didn't cure it. I added a top coat and then I added the poly gel, just the, what was left on the plate. And they only had, um, like, I mixed one time top coat in it. So it did have top coat mix in it, just not like four or five times. And then I added top coat again before I used the magnet and it works a lot lot better this time and then you can always just take your top coat and um, agitate the top of it again to do the magnet a different way and try it out um, if you don't like the look first time I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe if you have some chrome or any kind of pigments or even some eyeshadow or something laying around the house maybe pick it up and try it out I hope you guys have a blessed day Can you see the vision? Everything in this world will be okay. Can we be together all the way? I know you feel this movement right here. You just be vibing, reaching, reaching for something. Something